Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to homelessness and poverty in destitute seaside town. So I do these sorts of reactions to a lot of US um, US towns and seeing like areas of the US that are struggling big time and with poverty, homelessness, drugs, all those kinds of things. And this is based in the UK and I've, I don't really know much about, I mean obviously I know certain towns in the UK that are just known to be a lot worse in terms of standards of living and having problems like homelessness and stuff but i don't really react to it because obviously my channel was solely based around pretty much reacting to stuff in the us but it's slowly sort of changing and i'm sort of trying to react to just pretty much whatever at this point and i did do a reaction to like the worst places to live in the uk and then that that video got striked so that got taken off youtube but i've never seen this person's channel before but it's a relatively small channel so if you're going to enjoy the video that i react to i would really appreciate if you go to his channel and subscribe or just whatever like watch his videos through and all that good stuff because it's always good to help i guess new up-and-coming creators I, I assume this channel is relatively new because i've never seen this channel before but it's like it, his videos have got quite a lot of views so it's going to be fascinating it's also grimsby which is where lawrence are lost in the ponds from which is i don't know it's just a coincidence i guess i mean i know grimsby's not the nicest of places but we're going to check this out and see hopefully going to enjoy hopefully you find it interesting learning a bit about some british towns british cities and yeah i'll learn about it probably the same way that people who are watching this reaction will learn as well but let's jump into this hopefully going to enjoy links are in the description to my patreon i did actually try to post a back to the future video onto youtube cut up and all stuff like that but it got blocked from youtube so that's a bit of annoying like a bit of an annoying thing because i was i spent about six hours editing it up then trying to upload it and it just got blocked so i apologize for that i did want to post it but that is where you can find movie reactions and maybe i'll learn over time how to post movie reactions to youtube because people seem to be able to do so i just don't know how but um we're going to jump into this and see a bit about this place welcome to grimsby <coughs> a town where the local it's already looking lovely man are referred to as codheads now oh. this is a once bustling fishing port on the northeast coast that has suffered from terrible post-industrial decline. Jesus. It don't look, I mean, I guess you're probably starting in the worst looking area of the, of the town, but it don't look pretty. We're going to walk around the town today. We're going to walk around all sorts of areas, the town centre, the outer areas and the port, and we're gonna see what life is like for the locals in this incredibly impoverished part of the UK. <laughs> Just love a life, man, you gotta respect it. is shocking. And why is it yeah, shocking? Right, because no one even, no one's bothering with it, and no one wants to improve it. Has that been since the decline of the fishing industries in, yes, the, in the 70s? Yeah, it's, yeah, well, since, since the docks are gone, it's... And they called it an ignorant... So it's kind of like the same of like how some Appala Appalachian... Because I don't have a full reaction on Appalachia. Not a full, like a, a region in Appalachia. I can't say the name. And it was a prospering area, and then the coal industry just sort of went to shit, and then so did the area. And it's kind of... I guess it's just how it is with towns that were once prospering they're so reliant on a specific thing and that goes away they're done for backward shithole okay it might be an ignorant backward shithole but it's our ignorant backward shithole yeah so you're born and bred yeah, yeah. i'm born and bred with me and i'm proud i've moved away and come back what about like employment opportunities oh, and things employment's it's terrible at yeah least. i mean half of them's got criminal records as well <laughs> yeah so it's really hard for us to go for an interview mm. say 300 times and then say no, at the end of it. I would say 60 to 70 percent of the shops are boarded up. Yeah. All the businesses, the buildings. Have you been down um, Freeman Street yet? You go Freeman Street, right? When I was a kid, every single one of them shops was open. I've never seen such a proliferation of closed shops oh, yeah. anywhere I've been. Yeah. I was told that like East Marsh yeah. is a pretty deprived neighbourhood yeah. as well. well. It was on the telly a, a while ago, some MP, and they reckon East Marsh is one of the top 10 most deprived places for investment in I, Britain. I read it was the second oh, most second, deprived I was in ward. Yeah, I know it was in yeah. the top 10. We're class as the Western world, aren't we? We're supposed to be up there, uh, we look after everyone and all that lot. Well, I say bloody charity it starts at, at home, home first, yeah? Yeah. You yeah. help myself so I can help yeah. the refugees or other people coming in first, you know what I mean? 
Yeah. He, this lad here is homeless, you know what I mean? Mm. All through the frigging government. Mm. Mm. They yeah. sanctioned him 200 quid the other day because yeah, he missed 205 quid because I missed an appointment. How That's long have you been months? on the streets? Uh, a couple of months now. But, yeah. uh, it's like mad as fuck. The, um, you're on that universal credit, you get 320 quid a month. I went to the bank one day, they paid me £5.82 for the month. Yeah. But they didn't give me £5.82 in one payment, they gave me two payments to £2.92. Right. You're joking. Wow. So I, I earned six quid for the month, but I could only get fucking three quid of it. And £2.92 the and then a fortnight, £2.92 oh, later, what? but I had to borrow eight pence out of my mate's fucking copper jar to go to the post office to get the, eight, the three quid coins. That's what I got sitting there just before Christmas, that was. That was my payment before Christmas. Well, the reason why we've gone through crime, uh, done crime and stuff like that, because we haven't it. got money and stuff like that, it, it's circumstantial. Like, like any, anywhere you go in the world, like... He speaks been... quite well. I mean, he's speaking a lot of things that, like, you can understand. The main reason people commit petty crimes is because they're pushed into a situation yeah, where yeah. they have to do it. Yeah. Like, you're not, you're not going to become a millionaire by yeah. doing little petty yeah. things. This is how fickle it is on our yeah, side of life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's disgusting. We've got brains on us. You know, I just can give tell. us a chance. I, I immediately, when I sit down with people, like, yeah. you, you, like, I hate that people are judged by their situation. Mm. Like, the moment you sit down with someone, like, it, it's just it's just a roll of the dice, really. Yeah. You know? yeah. No it's one like, can choose where they're born. No, no one can choose where no. the family exactly, ties yeah. are. Yeah. It's like I've been to it's prison, good. but... I did something wrong in my life, but Took it doesn't mean to say I, I'm, I'm bad for the rest of my life. No. You know what I mean? I was, it was circumstantial. And if we can't reform our societies, then yeah. then there's no hope, yeah. is there? You yeah, know what right, I mean? Right. Like, people can reform, people yeah, can get right. better. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to reform myself now. You know, it's pretty slow going, right? But, you know, I'm, I'm on GPS being attacked by being oh, in prison. Do you know what I mean? This God is GPS. How long have you been on for? <laughs> Possibly a year. Yeah. No. Mate, imagine being on a tag. That is a brutal way to live your life. I mean, this, it's not a tag system where you come out of prison and you get a few months off, off your sentence. Yeah. But um, I was in for burglary, but it was a stupid one, burglary. One, I, I come out of prison I'm last time. Right, I scratched from the street, yeah. Got yeah. done from the fray. And then uh, I went to prison for eight months, come out, and they left me homeless. Yeah. I was roaming the streets for about 11 days. They dragged us to society. Where the fuckers that's on the front line protecting all these fucking do yeah, where the born with the silver spoon. Yeah, where the pawn, where the fodder. Know what I mean? And just because I'm, you might be homeless or you might be, someone's got an addiction or anything doesn't make the person a wrong one. No. Just because he's got an addiction. What's Grimsby like in 2023? Shit all. Why'd you but say honestly, that? Honestly, there's no clue. No opportunity? Yeah, no opportunity. No jobs? No I mean, even the food bank where we're going to now, when we're homeless, there's uh, the gear, uh, half eaten bags of crisp and you know yeah. what I mean, so. Apart from six months of last year that I've spent in jail, I've been not homeless for two years, last two years. But, you know, this place looks... I mean, my, the city that I live in is not perfect, right? There's areas that aren't nice, but I don't think any areas are as bad as this, and I just feel blessed for that, because there's a lot of bad areas in my city as well. This just seems like it's all the same throughout. You may wonder, how did Grimsby end up this way? That was quite nice, to be fair. This way, from its height of success, when it once was home to the largest fishing fleet in the world in the 1950s to the present day. Well, we have to look squarely at the Cod Wars, incredibly vitriolic industrial disputes between the UK and Iceland, and they were between the 50s and 70s. I think they ended the last one in 1978 and the UK had to recede fishing waters. Consequently, fishing companies pulled out of Grimsby, which was the main employer in the town. That led to the social decline that we can now see all around us in this town today. And that decline was dramatic. A highly skilled workforce in a one industry town reliant upon that industry to feed its society but that industry had set sail so so much is said about post industrial decline in the US in cities like Detroit but you've got huge buildings in the uh, former once the biggest fishing fleet in the world here in Grimsby just decaying crumbling in front of our very eyes what a sad sight you can see why there's so much deprivation in this town so how much of the um, fishing industries left here now 
Not a lot. How many companies are still operating fishing from the port here? No fishing boat comes on here, in here. Yeah. So Young, Young's are one of the companies that well, still process fish here? They're closing one of the factories. So and has this all been on is. decline since the mid-70s, since the Cod Wars? It has. So what's your name, mate? Anthony Nelson. Anthony, yeah. And are you on the streets? Yeah. Are you living on the streets? Yeah. yeah. And I've what? Got, I've got, well, it is, I went, went to jail on my man for something I didn't do for two months, and then... Yeah. Got to court and there's no case to be held, and they just released me into nothingness. Yeah. No, no release grant. Didn't even give me my clothes. But the money I had in me, and, and the thing is, it's all still there. I can't, and I can't get down. Let's get it. So. Yeah. And you just get out into this, into, into no support. Yeah. And how long have you been on the streets like this now? Um, it's been on and off for years. Yeah. Um, but uh, this time it's been about, been about four months now. This is no joke, folks. Look at the state of some of these buildings. Look at the state of the old pub, the Albion. I've never seen such decline. Everywhere I've been, this is shocking. Grimsby has shocked me. Is this what you think of when you think of Britain, a developed Western nation? The post-industrial decline is shocking. <coughs> This looks, this place looks, from what I'm seeing again, when you're going on doing these videos, they're probably showing the worst places and maybe not showing the nicer areas if there are any here, which I assume there are. But this is looking like worse than some of the US ones I was seeing, like some of the worst US towns and cities I was seeing. Like this is definitely on par with that. And I didn't even realize there was places looking like this in the UK. I mean, I, I, mean, I did actually, I'm, I'm telling a lie, but. Just every part of it. Like the, I guess he was on the main high street at that point as well. Welcome to East Marsh, which is one of the most deprived wards in the entire country, in the entire UK. And definitely, from the people I've spoken to, one of the roughest parts of Grimsby, which is already incredibly impoverished. So I'm just having a little wander around the streets here to see what life is like in the poorest part of this already incredibly poor seaside town. Is this what you think of when you think of the UK folks, especially if you're from overseas? These ramshackle streets where most people are living on benefits, struggling to get by, one step, maybe one week away, or even less from homelessness. I'm sure that there are not everybody in East Marsh is struggling. I'm sure that the sense of community is really good because I've met some really open, warm people since I've been in Grimsby. But you can definitely tell that this is an impoverished area. So what's East Marsh like? Um, well. I've read that it's the second most destitute, poverty-stricken ward in the UK. Yeah. Um, what's life like? You deliver on the streets here. What's life like? What's number one? I mean, this has got a, it's got a it's number two, so number one, I can't even imagine. East Marsh. I mean, it's, like you say, quite a rough area. Um, but the people are so down to earth on here. Yeah, as well. I will they say are, that yeah. everyone that I've bumped into yeah. in Grimsby, incredibly open, incredibly warm. Yeah. And it's so sad to me that, like, they're, they're kind of used to the, like the destitution. Yeah. Like, I've never seen in the UK, and I do this in all sorts of different seaside towns, yeah. I've never seen so many boarded up shops. Yeah. But... I've spoken to the locals about it and they're almost used to it. Yeah, it is just the norm around here, yeah. yeah. Like, well, like you say, graffiti everywhere, but everyone just gets on with it and it's normal, so. And is it dangerous in this area? Or no. is it is it just poor? I mean, obviously you get your odd incident, what's knives and everything else, but really it's the same as everywhere else. Even you get it in Cleethorpe's 10 minutes down the road and that's meant to be nicer, but it's just the same everywhere. It's boarded up everywhere, but it's it's just normal as you can see folks like everyone I've bumped into has been incredibly open and friendly it is such a shame it's just so it's almost criminal that these really warm northern you know big-hearted towns are suffering this fate I'd, I'd be interested in seeing one of the nicer areas in this town because I'm sure it's not all like this surely the people are used to it they're used to everything being broken Massive estates full of empty, boarded up shops. Everything's boarded up. What the fuck? That is wild. 
Do you know what's the saddest thing about it to me is I go to a lot of towns around the country, seaside towns, and the ones that are struggling, they're not very welcoming. The people here are the most open, yeah. warm people I've met oh, yeah. in well, any of these get, towns. No, you, you can get some really bad ones. Oh, yeah. So I've been lucky, I bumped into all the good people. Yeah, there's a lot of drugs around as well. Well, that, that's everywhere now. Yeah, well, yeah. 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 But the old buildings, they just don't seem to want to keep them, look after them. Yeah. Like on the docks, they could do so much. I mean, if you yeah. look at hull docks, they've re changed everything. It's a buzzing place now, but yeah. here, there's nothing. It's such a shame. Yeah. So this is Cleethorpes, which is next door to Grimsby, but kind of all has uh, grown into the same place now. And Cleethorpes is seen as the poshest part of the area. The people in Grimsby tell me that Cleethorpes is the posher part of Grimsby, but it's not. No. <laughs> it's about the same area. You just get more people feet in summertime, but in wintertime it's just like wind speed. Yeah. So what's life like in Cleethorpes in 2023? Tough. Tough. <laughs> but from normal people are just like shit. People have told me that Cleethorpes is the like the posher part of the area. Yeah. Um yeah. less boarded up shops, there's still quite a lot. But is Cleethorpes a slightly um better place to live than Grimsby do you think? Uh, yes. Yeah. It is. It is better. Yeah. People more friendly. I'd say yeah. like this way. So what's your name my friend? Yeah, uh, Anthony. Anthony. And are you on the streets here in Cleethorpes? Yeah man. Yeah and how long have you been on the streets? Yeah about two years now. Two about, years? Yeah man. Yeah. And um, what's life like on the streets in Cleethorpes? Do you know it's not too bad in Cleethorpes but it's not great mate. We're only in a tent so we only get in a B&B about every three, four days from it, so... Yeah, to have a wash and yeah, get a good night's sleep. Yeah, it's the only time we can feel normal, do you know what I mean? It's a lot safer than Grimsby. It's a lot quieter. It is, mate. Do you know, I don't really go to Grimsby much because, yeah, it's because of that reason. Yeah, I can understand why, if somebody thinks about it properly, if they are yeah. on the streets, they would come over this side. Yeah. Because yeah. It's, um, it's definitely a lot quieter environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is, mate. Yeah. So I bumped into this lady in the local pub in Cleethorpes. Everyone I spoke to in Grimsby yesterday, they said that Cleethorpes is the posher part of the area, like a bit more going for it, less boarded up shops. Certainly less boarded up shops than Grimsby, but that's not hard. Yeah. Yeah, what, <laughs> what's, what's the general vibe in the area? Um, I don't know, I've lived in both areas. I think they're both pretty much the same. I think it, it's probably getting a bit worse up here than it used to be. Really, yeah. If I'm honest. In yeah. what way? Um, just a lot more crime going on, a lot more. But it is still a nice place to live, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think the people make the oh, place yeah, more than anything. Without that, especially some, in a place like this. If you'd have come in an hour or so, it'd have been filled with locals. Yeah. Wouldn't it? It's um, pretty early. Everyone yeah, knows everyone. Pub. You yeah, can come in here. And, yeah. yeah, cheap pub, but a good pub, I can tell. You can come in yeah, on your own easy. and you end up with friends. Yeah. What's the pub called? Teddy's, Teddy's Bar. There you go. Yeah. Teddy's Bar in the heart of Cleethorpes. And we have karaoke on a Wednesday. I mean, on a Saturday, Sunday and a Friday. Another example, folks, of how warm and welcoming the locals Grimsby and Cleethorpes are. How much is it a pint? £2.50. £2.50 a pint? Till 12 o'clock. In Teddy's bar. Till 12 o'clock. Till 12. It's quite nice on the outside. In conclusion, I've never seen a seaside town with as many boarded up shops and in such a sad state of decline as Grimsby. I've travelled to many seaside towns in this country and I've never seen it this bad. But in contrast, I've never met such warm, open, and friendly people as the people of Grimsby. That's why it's so sad, because these people are just so warm, open, and welcoming, and yet they're living in a town which is suffering with so much decline. People in their 40s and below, they also seem to be institutionalized by the state of things here. Since the fishing industry collapsed in the 70s, they don't really know any difference. There's not been much prosperity in the town since. So they're kind of, they're not even shocked by how things are anymore. To see high streets with 70, 80% boarded up shops and shuttered up shops. I mean, the high street is struggling anyway because of like online stuff, but this is to another degree, right? Like the amount of shut up, and not all of them are in high street shops. There's a lot of restaurants or pubs and bars, like all different kinds. It just seems brutal. Like 
the people are really helpless to this as well because it's not really what not there's not really much they can do and it's all i guess it's now got to the point where it's so bad there's just no real possibility of sort of clawing it back and making it better again i mean you can make it somewhat better but there's always going to be the problems there now that's a normal thing to them so folks grimsby definitely the most in decline seaside town that i've visited yet um didn't know it was that bad in grimsby grew up there a big issue is mentality too so many are convinced it's a nice place to live they don't go out and explore the rest of the county even uh, even it's really sad and one of the worst places to be born into even just the mindset alone i grew up in grimsby 77 to 93 it was a rough town but this video legit made me cry to see the level of decline in grimsby so it's just getting a lot worse flipping hell as an englishman to see these fellows like this like this saddens me well there we go um First time I've even seen Grimsby, I knew it was always a bit of a rough place, but not to this level. It was not like one of these towns that I sort of thought it was that bad, but god damn. A lot of seaside towns seem, in the UK seem to be like pretty bad as well. It's like a, a seaside towns seem to just be in decline in general. Not all of them, but a lot in my county. And it just seems to be a thing, but this is an eye opener. And again, like I said, if you've if you enjoyed this reaction or you enjoyed the video that I reacted to, Links will be in the description to this person's channel. I'm going to subscribe here actually because I really found it interesting. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Until next time, peace.